Hello, welcome to Yale EC 2544 e-commerce and fintech. This session will talk about accelerometer technology, which is a very important enabling technology that make our mobile phones more powerful. So accelerometers help us to measure the orientations and the positions of your mobile phone. So it can be used for orientation detections, acceleration detections, vibration shocking detections, and also detect whether your mobile phone is falling or not. When you were young, perhaps you have tried to play with this motion sensing game controller to play with the video game character. So accelerometer is built in in this type of motion sensing game controller, as well as many mobile phones nowadays. So the operating principles of an accelerometer is that there is a mass okay, built in this accelerometer and when you move the accelerometer, when you shake it, move it, the mass because of inertia will vibrate. When you move the accelerometer to the right by inertia, this mass will move to the left and vice versa. When we move to the left, this mass will move a little bit to the right and will cause a displacement here. There are some coil surrounding the mass and when the mass moves towards the right and left, just like the diaphragm on the speaker, they vibrate to the left and right and it will induce a magnetic field and a small current. And this small current signals will reflect the magnitude of these vibrations. And therefore we can find out the accelerations of the mass and to determine the velocity and accelerations of the device. And so this is the basic principle of the operations of an accelerometer. And nowadays we can embed all this in the very small and tiny IC chips and there's a kinds of IC chips that you can buy in the market that can provide you the X, Y, Z information which give you analog information and as long as you can provide the power supply, VDD and the ground then the analog signals that show you the X, Y, Z coordinate will be able to send out and once you connect it with a A to D converter then you can read those data there are many applications for accelerometer. For example, for navigations. Although we can use GPS satellites to determine the positions of the mobile phone on the Earth. But what if your car is running inside a tunnel? You can't see the satellite and you cannot receive any satellite signal. Then we need to make use of a parameter and make use of a technology called dead reckoning to determine the positions of your car inside a tunnel. Because when you are moving inside a tunnel, you know the directions and if you can continue to monitor the speeds and directions of your car, you can still keep track the path and determine the positions even though you cannot receive the GPS signal and a more common applications of astrometers is the applications in your mobile phone when you move the orientations of the mobile phone the screen could rotate accordingly and also make use in the car safety okay let's watch this video and see how astrometer can help to determine whether or not the car is crashed and send out an automatic report to the police. The accelerometer in the mobile phone can help to detect any certain accelerations or deceleration. In other words, if the car crash, these certain decelerations can be detected by the accelerometer and sent out an emergency call to the police through Bluetooth. Think will now attempt to call 911 to cancel this call. Please touch yes on your screen. Dearborn 911, what is your emergency? I've been in a car accident. I'm showing that you're at Military North of Michigan, is that correct? Correct. 
Are there any injuries? I can't feel my right arm. Okay, we're gonna get you help on the way. Thank you. At the same time, the location information can be detected by GPS and other information such as date, time can be reported to the police accurately and help to save life. And I believe that you must be very familiar with this type of application using the astrometer to, for the video game playing. Okay, and some applications make use of the spot game, playing tennis or golf. You can hold this game controller like holding the racket. Some camera will also make use of astrometer to do image stabilizations. When your camera head is moving, okay, like this, okay, it's not very stable, right? But with the astrometer, it can do some auto corrections. When this camera moves up because your hand is shaking, then the astrometer can detect that the camera is moved up and it can correct the image positions or coordinate so that to maintain a stable picture on your screen. A thermometer can also be used to protect the data integrity in your laptop computer. If you drop your laptop computer on the floor, the magnetic head touching on the disk will then may scratch on the disk and damage the data. So if the thermometer inside the laptop can detect that there is such a falling actions, then it can move away the head from the disc so as to protect the disc surface from being crashed by the metal head. However, there are some limitations of a thermometer. Let's say it cannot detect the differences between a moving objects at constant velocity from a stationary objects because the acceleration is the same and it cannot read the falling objects which is a free falling where the gravity is zero so we make use of some new technologies called gyroscope okay this is a gyroscope that you may play with this when you was a kid there's a very fast moving wheel rotating and then this gyroscope will create uh, inertia, uh, angular momentum inertia that will rotate at a constant and fixed direction. Let's see how Steve Jobs introduced this new technology gyroscope in the product launch of iPhone 4. We got another really cool piece of hardware. Remember when we added the accelerometer and how that opened up a whole new vista of gaming? Because we're adding a gyroscope. We're adding a three axis gyro, which is fantastic. Pitch roll and yaw, also rotation around gravity. And we tied the gyro and the accelerometer and even the compass together to provide six, ax six ax axis motion sensing. And we've got some new core motion APIs that you can call that give you extremely precise position information. And it's perfect for gaming. And one of the reasons it's perfect is because it's built into every iPhone 4, so you know it's there. So this is the uh, this is a little app that we wrote. And this is being run with the accelerometer now. And as you see with the accelerometer, I can tilt it from side to side or backwards and forwards. And uh, But I can't, it doesn't move when I rotate around gravity. And the positioning is, is good but not super precise. So now by tapping the word accelerometer, it's gonna to change to the gyro. And now I get much more precise movement here. And as you see, it rotates around gravity. So I'm gonna play this game here. And I think I'll take this one off. All right. And maybe I'll take this one out. Take that one out. <laughs> I practiced this a little bit. Well, you get the idea.
So gyroscope can provide much more information other than just the X, Y, Z orientations. It also tell us the spin, the angle, and also the angular momentum and velocity and so on. There are many applications of gyroscope. For example, for vehicle stabilizations in the airplane or helicopters, there's a flywheel running at high speed that can stabilize the directions of the flight. And it can be also used in the golf cup. When there's a fine wheel inside the golf cup, it can also help to stabilize the directions of the cup when you do the strike. Then how can we implement the gyroscope technology in the mobile phone? Such a big rotating fine wheel cannot be installed in this just a small IC chips in the mobile phone. How can we do that? Of course, nowadays, the gyroscope inside the mobile phone will not be that big. Thanks to microelectronic technologies, we can now make use of a piezoelectric effect to implement gyroscope in an IC scale. And we can put the gyroscope, the pressure sensor, all into a tiny piece of IC chips. PCO electric effect is an effect that can convert pressure into a voltage signal. When there is pressure pressing this piece of electric material, it will generate the current or the signals like this. And these signals can be used to detect the pressure. Pressure is a fault. So when there's a pressure pressing on this piece of electric material, then a signal can be determined and these signals can be used to determine the force applied on this material and according to the Newton second law force equals to mass multiplied by acceleration so we can determine the accelerations and there are some advantages and disadvantages of using piezoelectric gyroscope for example it can lower the input voltage then the vibrating mass and also measure the rotations in two directions using a single device. However, the sensitivity is not that good and also the output is large when the resistance between the gyroscope is small. After we learn about the technologies of gyroscope and accelerometer, can you imagine and innovate some new applications that make use of these technologies and make your e-commerce applications more powerful and profitable.